All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol GEVO, GEVO Inc. And before I jump into this chart, I do want to state some things. And the first thing is, welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. Hope you guys find this video helpful and informative, and it means you well. To all my subscribers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your support and recognition to my efforts. Let's jump into this chart. So the Bears just brought this one to newer lows broke through support and didn't even give a chance for the bulls to appear until this literally was at its bottom points and leveling off and it still fell below anything that the bulls were even able to do let's go ahead and see our points here of reference that are very important for tomorrow we are clearly right now below the 50-day moving average and the bears are just dominating this one as of right now and it's very clear so the 50-day moving average is 1.283. I don't know if I can land exactly on it. Oh, I did. Awesome. 1.2, 1.0283. Excuse me. A uh, dollar and two cents and 83. That right there is our 50-day moving average. I'd run that up to one dollar and two cents just to go ahead and. Um, just pay close attention to that. And if that breaks through that point, um, it could be on its way to hitting obviously 103 and start to hit newer highs. But a dollar and two cents is our 50 day moving average. As long as it stays below it, the bears are in control. But before getting there for the bulls to break through that and get back into bullish territory, the bulls are going to have to break through the first resistance level, and that is 9608. It got rejected one and two times from there. So that is very concerning and important to keep in mind that this resistance level needs to be broken through so this can start to work its way up. If it does get broken through, the next one, which is the highest point after that slight recovery by the bulls at this point, is 97.23. 97.23 gets broken through. This could be well on its way closer to the 50-day moving average. Doesn't guarantee it but it gives you a sense of direction of where this is going and the bulls are able to go ahead and get their recovery and slightly start to work their way up. This closed out at 91.79 and our support level is 89.96. So if the bears break through support, even if the bulls were to reappear anywhere down here, they're gonna have to come in hefty and strong to recover break the resistance, and work their way up to the 50-day moving average. So the Bears are definitely going to be dominating this one if support gets broken through, and they could be on their way to testing newer lows and new support levels. 89.96, I'd pay very close attention to it if the Bears are able to cross it. And then the next support level right after that would be 89.02, which is literally the same cent range a lot closer to 88 cents so i would just round it down to 88 cents if that gets broken through this could be on its way to testing newer lows certainly by the bears and pulling it further away from the 50-day moving average if you found this helpful and informative and feel encouraged and inclined to subscribe don't forget to click on the bell and turn on all notifications so that you don't miss a single video that i post share this with your friends and community and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video and let's make some money.